Hi, this is Leah at Cargo, and today we're going to go through DVIR. So the first thing I'm going to do when I start my day is I'm going to hit my top right hand corner and go on duty. So I've been off duty all night. I'm going to say I'm on duty and then I'm going to be able to choose what I'm doing. I can do multiple things at a time. I can go fueling, I can scroll up and let's do a pre-trip. Once I click the next button, do you want to start your shift? Yes, start my shift. It's going to confirm my details. Currently, it's going to ask my location only because this unit is not connected to a truck. When you're connected to a truck, it won't ask. I'm going to hit complete. Again, it's going to ask me to review and certify my logs, but I'll do that later. Hit my home button to go back. Now that I'm on duty, I can go into DVIR. I need to go do my inspection. So tabs on top, tractor, trailer, and history. So right now we're on tractor. There's going to be my driver code. When you are in a truck, it will be populated with a truck number. But because I'm not in a truck, there's not one here, so I'm going to make one up. It's going to have the inspection date and time, my name, the odometer of the truck. I need to put the license plate, I'm going to put something random, but this will be pre-populated for you. Again, the license plate as well and the jurisdiction. You won't have to worry about these, but today for training purposes, I need to put something in. So here is where you inspect your tractor for defects. If I don't have anything, I'm going to check the box that says no defects. But today, let's find something wrong. Let's say we have so we had a mirror that's missing so I'm gonna click glass and mirrors it's gonna ask me is it roadside or curbside roadside is driver side curbside is passenger let's say it's my passenger side mirror and it's not a window it's a mirror so I'm gonna click mirror and it's asking is it broken or is it missing uh, it's broken now it's gonna ask me to take photos so you can click on the camera and actually take this tablet out of the truck and go take a picture of something. So let's say that that's my broken mirror. I'm gonna click the camera button. If I don't like the picture, I can click retake. If I like it, I'll choose done. I can choose up to three photos at a time. I can submit as many as I want, but only three at a time. If I need to type in anything about remarks, I can and click submit. If something else was broken, if I had a flat tire, something else, a missing marker light, I can go in and click as many things as I want. Do any of the above reported defects impact the safe operation of the vehicle? No or yes. Obviously, if you click yes, you need to talk to somebody first and make sure that we get that fixed. I'm going to say no. I hereby certify that my data is correct. Click that box and I can choose submit. Now I need to go and do the exact same thing for my trailer. I need to fill out my trailer information. You will not have to. If you, we know in your load what you're hooked to, you won't have to enter this. Select the owner. It's a fleet owned vehicle. Our trailer number, you can type in something random right now, but you will know your trailer number. Enter that, enter the license plate number, and enter the jurisdiction. All these should be pre-populated for you. If not, fill in the information that you know. If I have defects, I can click down here and find them. For today, I'm gonna choose no defects. I hereby certify my data is correct and click submit. If you choose history, you can type in any tractor or any trailer number, search by a date, and I can see if anyone else has written up a defect on a tractor or a trailer. So let's say by tractor number, use a random one that I've done, and I'm gonna see if anybody, I click my calendar, if anybody, let's say in the last month, has written anything up on that tractor and touch search. Nope, nothing today. But I can go back and see if anything has been reported by another driver for that particular tractor or trailer. Let's see, oh, there we got something. So 
and see that we had a broken mirror. And I'm gonna click view. And I can view what was typed up, what was written. I can even view the photo that was done, okay? So you can go back to any unit that you were in, any unit we have, and type in, I believe within 90 days, but type in the unit numbers and a date and see if anybody has already reported previous damage on this. So that is DVIR. Make sure we're on duty. We go to DVIR, we actually get around, get out, walk around and do your inspection. Again, to go back to your home screen, hit the home button.